Ladies and gentlemen, do not be fooled. Do not fall for the trap of this hex narrative. There's this, this narrative being spread by a lot of hexagons, a lot of uh, influencers within the hex community who I think mean well and are trying to educate their viewership on, on how different dynamics of the market work, but without mentioning an incredibly important piece of nuance, I think are in fact hurting their audience. And I've even heard Richard Hart pedal this narrative that i think is frankly uh, dangerous to pedal unless you add on to it a very important piece of nuance that which i will go on to describe so folks if you want to find out more like and subscribe it's a brand new channel in fact if you follow our twitter my twitter link down in the description below i tweeted out uh, i believe two or so days ago uh, saying how i saw several drives of bearish divergence on hex i believe at around uh, seven two cents uh, hex has corrected quite a bit since then i think we're down I don't know, like roughly 10 some odd percent since I tweeted that out. So, folks, if you want to stay up to date with those kinds of updates, link for my Twitter is down in the description below. Now, uh, before I kind of delve into uh, describing why I think this very common hex narrative uh, and which hex narrative I think is extremely dangerous to believe in and that's being peddled by quite a lot of people, uh, I first kind of want to do a breakdown of what's going on here uh, with Hex. So, folks, uh, Bitcoin is not having a good time here. It seems to be forming potentially something of a bear flag. Uh, you know, Hex is correcting quite a bit here. If we kind of lose our support on this uptrend uh, and start to perhaps get daily candles opening and closing uh, below our established support range here, then I could definitely see a correction to the three or four cent range. I think kind of personally the only thing saving us from a deeper correction of three to four cents is perhaps official news of testnet version three for pulse chain if we get that news i could definitely see us uh, kind of continuing the uptrend here but with bitcoin correcting looking weak uh hex you know very overextended on different momentum indicators seeing uh several drives of bearish divergence there is you know a, a definite case for three to four cents and once we see a little bit more confirmation of breaking of the trend here uh you know maintaining time on lower lows then we could perhaps see that uh that deeper correction for sure so that's a short term but folks look back to this idea of this kind of dangerous narrative that i hear being peddled by richard hart and many many other uh, hex influences that being the fact that a lot of people are saying that hex is decorrelated from the rest of the market and in some sense it's true but in a very, very, very greater important sense, it's also not true. So allow me to give the devil his due and then present my case. So if we kind of look at how Hex's liquidity is distributed, Hex has the majority of its liquidity uh, paired to stable coins. So the fact that Hex is, you know, almost entirely on decentralized exchanges and on these, those decentralized exchanges, it's paired to uh, USCC mostly. The argument is made that therefore hex is decorrelated from the uh, from the majority of the movements of the rest of the market. It's decorrelated from what Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, Chainlinker is doing. You know, because many many times, you know, you'll find that when Bitcoin dips, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, Chainlink, all these other coins, BNB will also dip. Now, the reason why that is. It's because they're all paired with each other. You know, there's Bitcoin Ethereum pairings, there's Chainlink ETH pairings, there's uh, XRP to ETH, XRP to Bitcoin. All these pairings with uh, with different coins make them reactive to each other. So when you know Bitcoin Ethereum, uh, you know when Bitcoin moves down on the Bitcoin Ethereum pairing, you know they're both affected. So that is the reason uh, why many cryptocurrencies are correlated and move together. And so because Hex is mostly paired to a stable coin, and stable coins are non-reactive to the rest of the market, they're stable, uh, the argument is made that therefore Hex is decorrelated. And again, this is somewhat true. Indeed, Hex is less reactive to the rest of the market uh, because the majority of its liquidity is in uh, stable coins. Although it does have some pairing to ethereum as well so in that sense you know hex is somewhat reactive to the movements of ethereum and ethereum is 100 percent according to the bitcoin and the rest of the greater market but again you know the majority is in usdc additionally if we take a look at kind of our first uh, bull run here with hex there were moments where you know bitcoin ethereum so you know some other altcoins would be taking a dip and hex would behave differently hex would be pumping while some other things were taking a dip so there were kind of brief micro mo moments in which the decorrelation that you know richard hart and other influencers uh, make did manifest itself so i i do want to give the devil's due and concede that you know indeed 
Hex is majorly paired in stable coins, making it less reactive. Uh, and there were moments historically where Hex would uh, not move uh, as closely uh, with the rest of the market. So I agree with that fully 100%. And that's why people feel comfortable kind of spreading this narrative. But it's extremely dangerous, in my opinion, to, to kind of spread this narrative and then not also add that, in fact, the single most important correlation factor is not the liquidity, but the market sentiment. The sentiment of the market is what drives the nature of these macro moves more than anything else. And Hex is 100% correlated with the macro sentiment of the rest of the market. Folks, if we kind of zoom out here on Bitcoin and kind of try and get a greater understanding of how the market cycle works. Bull markets have typically, you know, started to heat up and peak off roughly, roughly, roughly six months to a year after the latest Bitcoin halving. You know, the previous Bitcoin halving was, I think, uh, sometime in uh, May here, 2020. And then we had Bitcoin top off, you know, roughly a year, some odd after that. OK, yeah, we had a double peak. But point is, you know, that's how we've typically somewhat behaved in the past. And so my point is, the next time this happens, the next uh, Bitcoin having is March 2024. And so we're likely to have a bull market sometime, you know, mid to late 2025, where the bull market peaks off roughly. Now, there's different factors that affect a bull market that affect the cycles. OK. Uh, there's arguments for a lengthening cycle, whether, you know, there's quantitative easing or quantitative tightening. We're going through a period of, you know, recession, depression or of market simulation. Th whatever the current day's economic macroeconomic situation is come 2025, that will shape kind of whatever bull market we end up having. We end up having during that time. But the point is that these markets roughly follow this four year boom and bust cycle. So if you find yourself believing and accepting the narrative that Hex is decorrelated, Come the next bull market 2025, I highly, highly doubt that Hex is just going to go on this infinite bull market while Bitcoin and Ethereum are crashing and burning because it affects the sentiment. I know a lot of uh, Hex influencers are maxis, but if you look at the token holders, the people actually holding the, the Hex token itself, many of those people, majority of the people also hold other things as well. The majority of hex holders are not hex maximalists. And so you best believe that if Bitcoin, Ethereum, and your chain link, and your Cardano, and XRP, and whatever you hold is crashing and burning, that, that sentiment is going to affect hex as well. It is not a coincidence that hex had its bull market roughly around the same time that Bitcoin was having its bull market. It is not a coincidence that Hex had its bear market roughly the same time that Bitcoin and the rest of the market was having its bear market. Short term, yes, Hex can go through periods of decorrelation. But on the macro scale, due to the most important correlation factor being sentiment, it is greatly correlated, not to mention buy pressure as well. Part of the reason why altcoins pump so hard in the bull market is because profits are moved from Bitcoin and Ethereum into different altcoins. If buy pressure is drying up and sentiment is, is plummeting, it, it just doesn't make sense to think that there's just going to be infinitely increasing buy pressure for Hex and we're just going to go on, on this massive, massive bull market. So therefore, I think it's incredibly dangerous to not to continue to peddle this this narrative without also adding this very, very important piece of nuance that Hex is correlated because of the sentiment. Because I fear that if, you know, different Hexicans argue this point inarticulately, Retail investors are going to go on and believe that Hex is going to pump to the moon forever. And if you do end up believing that, we'll be prepared to hold through a 95% correction and a several year long bear market come 2026, 2027. And I personally think that there's going to be a massive difference in people's uh, profit and loss based off whether or not they believe Hex is correlated to the rest of the market or not. You best believe I'm going to inform my followers of the massive co uh, correlation due to sentiment. And I personally think that my followers are going to be far more uh, profitable than the, than the people who buy into the narrative that Hex is decorrelated. Not just because of my simple prediction, but if we look at how Hex behaved 
this previous market, the people who believed that X was correlated and made decisions off that and took profits. Once we saw, you know, the bear market begin and the, and the parabola start to break its structure, those people were far, far, far more profitable than the people who who falsely believed that Hex was decorrelated. History has shown us that Hex is correlated. So until we get a cycle where Hex just continues to moon forever while the rest of the market is crashing and burning, it is my opinion that it is incredibly risky to peddle the narrative that Hex is decorrelated because it's only decorrelated to a very, very minuscule extent. So folks, look, I hope you appreciate that video. Let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me. I think it's very important that uh, many other Hex influencers you know, incorporate this piece of nuance. Because look, I, I think a lot of them mean well, and there is some truth to the decorrelation. And when they explain this point, I think they're just kind of trying to explain to their audience how, you know, this kind of uh, hex is kind of different, and how, uh, how liquidity pairings work, and how, you know, different coins behave differently. That's all well and good. But not adding this important piece of nuance brings with it great risk to you know, large portions of our audience who aren't incredibly sophisticated. Guys, look, a lot of these hex YouTubers, this is all they do, right? But there are a lot of normal people out there who you know follow someone who says smart things and they hear decorrelation. And if they go on to behave like that, they, they're, going to, they're going to have to hold through the next 95% correction come 2026, 2027 and go through and hold through several year long nasty bear market. I've done that, it sucks. If I would have operated uh, based off the understanding that hex was correlated, I would have been far more profitable the previous cycle. And until we see actual proof of hex actually behaving in a decorrelated way on a macro scale, I think it's very risky to continue to peddle this narrative without adding this important piece of nuance at the end. So let me know if you agree, disagree. Folks, if you want to check out my uh, video, Breaking Down Power City, leave a link over here. If you want to find out what I think about Famous.io, link over here. Take care, folks.